When I'm hiking, I usually like to have digital backups of the maps or guides that I'm using. For long trips, I like using these USB things. This little thumb drive is 16 gigabytes. That means I can put an entire map set for a long trail on there, plus back up my pictures, plus have audiobooks and music on a music library to back up, plus have books, ebooks, anything. I can have PDFs on here for any sort of situation. It's easy to access, really good for small towns that might not have good internet connection or you might not be able to access internet at all as long as the computer is connected to a printer and you can plug this into the computer, you're good to go. So I don't know if there's any towns that are that small out there. It's also really easy to have instant access to stuff like this on a long hike when you don't have the resources you normally might in your home or hometown or wherever you're whatever you just might not have the resources it's just really easy or it's a good idea to have this this thing weighs nothing I've even got it set up where this is a little adapter it's a micro USB it's a USB to micro USB so I can just plug that in and then attach it to my smartphone and then I have a bunch of access to everything I have on here on my smartphone it's basically just extra memory but like I said again maps and stuff like that so that's for that's good for long hikes. I typically don't take this on weekend hikes simply because I'll probably never end up using it. It would be nice to transfer stuff from uh, my phone to here and my camera to here, but ultimately I feel like it's unnecessary. Long distance hikes definitely like that. Same thing with this. Uh, it's a USB. It's an SD card to USB adapter. You can load your pictures on the computer quickly. You could even possibly, I've never done this, but you could possibly put PDFs of the maps or guides you're looking on and then access them directly from your camera. A good way to back up your maps on your camera is simply just to take a picture of the physical map. I've done that several times where I've lost a map or maps have gotten wet and I know they won't last very long or they're getting so worn out with being folded up that I take a picture of it, take a picture of a sign or a billboard uh, with a map on it, like at a trailhead, and kind of figure out your way there. It's always good to have at least a couple backups of your maps. People rely on physical copies a lot, and that's good. I feel like nobody should ever rely on a digital copy of a map. A lot of people have PDFs of maps on their smartphone, just download it on there, which is a great idea as well, because you can access it uh, at any time. But I would never just rely on digital maps because digital devices fail. However, to act like physical maps don't fail is pretty naive I think. I've lost physical maps not through any sort of abuse or disuse but simply because uh, they've I've just straight up lost them. One time I was in the Wind River Range it was a winter trip and the map fell out of my pocket it was my only copy of the map and I was luckily enough got my bearings straightened out and was able to backtrack cross country not backtrack cross country but navigate cross country to find uh, the trail again which was nice. I've also I lost a map on the Continental Divide Trail. My phone broke, so my phone was out of commission for two weeks, and I had a map in my front pocket, and my only f copy of the map that day that I could access, and it f a huge gust of wind came, and it picked the map out of my pocket and flung it across a ridge into this huge valley. I looked for it for an hour, but I never see it again. Thankfully, I was near another hiker who let me take pictures of her maps on my camera, so I had some access and then I sat down and took pictures of all the rest of my maps so I'd always have a backup. It's really nice to have backup copies. So these are things that I've found useful. This is another one I found useful for largely uh, long hikes because you need a computer to access stuff. But um, this is an MP3 player, but uh, you can plug it right into a computer. It's basically a zip drive that also plays MP3s. So this one got me through a couple long trails because of the audiobooks and music I had on it. Overall, that's what it that's how I back up my maps digitally and have them for access on the trail. Uh, like I said, usually use my phone and or my camera for weekend trips. And uh, this stuff is for longer trips, but really useful, especially now that they make memory so small and affordable. I mean, all this stuff here, probably you might spend, with the exception of the phone, it might be like 20, 30 bucks on all this stuff brand new. So definitely worth uh, getting into. You don't want to be lost in the backcountry with no map. Alright, thanks for watching.